Hi, in this short tutorial we'll talk about the Home tab in Dream Factory. So when you first install Dream Factory, you'll land on the Home tab. And this is really a good place to get started with the product and learn the basics. So the first thing is you might want to watch this quick video. Uh, it's about uh, eight or nine minutes and it walks through in some detail all of the functionality of the product in the admin console, which is where you configure everything in Dream Factory. There are a bunch of sample applications to get started. This is probably one of the most important things to do uh, to get up to speed on how to actually make API calls um, to Dream Factory. And you learn this by doing an example. So all of these applications are a simple address book application, which show the basics of authenticating with Dream Factory, doing create, read, update, delete operations, doing some uh, somewhat advanced API calls, and just kind of familiarizing you with the platform. There's a resources tab here with a bunch of links. We have very detailed documentation, so you can go to the tutorials, check out the overall documentation. We have a great developer forum for asking questions and getting answers to your questions from the community at large. You can <clears throat> log uh, issues that you find directly on GitHub, on the GitHub repo for the open source project. And there are some other links like to Twitter, our blog, which by the way has a lot of really good um, tutorials as well and other information. And lastly, you can contact our support team. So when you start using Dream Factory, it comes with 14 days of free support that starts when you issue your first request. So you can use it for a while, and as soon as you start having any questions, you can contact support at dreamfactory.com. Lastly, there are some links to download. So there's an enterprise product. This is a management platform for managing many instances of Dream Factory across development, test, and production. Uh, it has API reporting. It has a, a bunch of other important features like API limits and things that you would want to use in a real production environment. So you can click on that and download that product, uh, which is also uh, free to evaluate and try. The open source product, which is an Apache license, always free to use, which you're looking at now. You can download the installers uh, by following all of these links. Uh, so if you're using the free hosted version of Dream Factory in the sandbox, for example, and then you want to get it for yourself on your own laptop or your own server, you can go here to the download tab and click on any of those links to get it either on the cloud, locally, Linux installations, or you can go straight to the source on GitHub. So that's a quick overview of the Home tab, and uh, it's a great place to get started with Dream Factory.